In this DV feature update, I'm going to be talking about the latest updates to the email opt-in module. Okay, so before I go into the tutorial, let's talk about the updates that were done to the email opt-in module. So first of all, we have now the ability to add consent checkboxes. Now, this is very important because of this new GDPR law that has just been released. And also, we have the ability to add new custom fields. Before, we only used to add, say, name and email. But now, we can add even more fields and collect more information about our subscribers. As well as that, you can also do conditional logic. So let's say they choose option one. You can also have a condition for what they can do or what is displayed next. And finally... What is very, very important here is to know that the email opt-in module is now GDPR ready. And also, it allows to keep a record of all the consent. So let's say you're in a situation where someone is trying to sue you or he's saying that you did not provide, uh, he did not provide consent. Now you can go to your email autoresponder and see all, the, all this information because it's all recorded. So this is great news. Today's tutorial is made possible by divicake.com. Check out the huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link is in the description below. All right, so um, I'm going to start off here by creating a new list in a MailChimp. But of course, this email opt-in module works with different types of autoresponder software. Okay, so I'm going to come over here to lists and I'm going to create a brand new list. So I have these, uh, which I was playing around with. So I'm just going to come over here, create a list. I'm going to say create list and I'm going to give it a name. So I'm just going to call this Mac list, the default from, I'll just add this one here. So I'm just populating this information here. So, so I'm not going to fill all these, uh, all this information because um, just for the sake of time. And also if you want to do a double opt-ins, you can also use, uh, click this option to have double opt-ins. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead now and save. So now my list has been created. The next thing I need to do is to add my form field. So I'm going to come over here to sign up forms and then I'm going to go into a form builder. Okay, so this now is where we can start adding all our fields. So right now I have this uh, address field. I know it's hidden, but I don't want that. So I'm just going to get rid of it by just clicking this minus button here and then just typing in delete. Uh, we have a phone, phone number option here. Again, I don't need the phone number, so I'm going to delete it. Okay, so now I have uh, email address, first name, last name. Right, so um, in fact, I don't, even, I don't even need the last name. So let's get rid of that too. I wish this form could just come with just uh, blank information so you can start adding it instead of starting by deleting stuff. Okay, so over here is where we can start adding all our checkboxes. So I'm going to come over here and let's say I want to add this field. Okay, so let's call this field. What would you like to learn? So my option one here is going to be Divi. And then I'm going to add another option. I'm going to say WordPress. Okay, so I, I think I'll just, I'm happy with those two, uh, Divi or WordPress. Okay, so now we can see that our opt-in form now has our email address, first name, and also... Uh, this question here, what would you like to learn at DVO WordPress? Now, why is this important? Now, this is important because when it comes to automation, you can actually now segment your list. And uh, those that choose Divi can receive a different type of email or a different type of uh, training. And those that choose WordPress can also have a different type of uh, email or training. So this is why this is huge. And this is very, very important because this option was not there before. Okay, so now that we have this in place, what we're going to do is we're just going to save this and let's go into Divi. Right, so over here, I'm going to go into my dashboard and create a brand new page. Right, so I'm going to come over here to pages and click on add new. So I'm just going to call this Mac email custom fields. Okay, click on use the Divi builder and then I'm going to go straight to visual builder. So to make things easier for me, I'm just going to start by creating a page from one of our pre-made layouts. So I'm going to come over here to my expand settings, click this plus button. And now I am in my library. 
Okay, so I'm going to come over here to my agency layout and I am going to choose one of these landing pages. In fact, I'll go with this one. Click on use this landing, use this layout. Okay, I'm going to delete this top section because I don't need it. And then I'm just going to come over here and find a space where I can add my opt-in. Okay, let's add it over here. So I'm just going to delete this. And then I'm going to add my email opt-in. Like that. Right, so of course we can go in and customize, get rid of the background, change colors and so forth. But for now, I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm going to come over here to the field and I am going to get rid of the last name because we don't need that. Right, so what I need to do next is come over here to my email account. So this is where now you want to set it up because if this is not set up, things won't work. So you need to choose your provider. So in my case, I'm using MailChimp. And then over here, I need to select my list. And right now, my list is not showing. So uh, let's take a look. I'm just going to choose one of these and then I'm going to click on fetch list. So what this does is it just refreshes my list and just make sure that everything is there. So now we can see Mac list has been added. Okay, great. So now that I've uh, now that I have this, I'm just going to click now add. Now I need to add my account name and my API key. So this is so that our email opt-in module now can talk to MailChimp. Okay, so I'm just going to give my account name there like that. And then over here to go to my API key, I need to go to the top here and click my profile. And then I need to come here to extras. And then this is where you get your API keys. So I'm just going to click here on the API keys and copy my API key. I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to paste it and then hit submit. Great. So every, everything seems to be working fine. Now, if I come over here to the fields, you'll notice that we now have an option to use custom fields. So if you say yes to this, you notice now that um, you have options now to add custom fields. So if I click this plus button here, I can choose the field. And this is one I created earlier on, which says, what would you like to learn? So I'm going to select that. And now you see it's been added now to my email opt-in form. So this is great. And let me just show you here just to confirm that we are collecting the information that we set up first. So if I come back over here, there we go. What would you like to learn? A DV or WordPress. Okay. So now that means these two systems are now talking with each other. Okay. So over here. So that's all we need to do. Now, if we had more fields uh, and we add more over here, we can actually go in and add uh, conditional logic. But right now, if we enable it, this won't work because we need more than one item for the logic to work. Okay, so for now, I'm going to go ahead now and save changes. So this means now, in fact, I don't need this one here because it's blank. It's got nothing on it. So now I can go ahead and save. So what this means now is when people come to our website and they, they want to sign up for our mailing list, they now can choose these different options. Okay. And this information again is um, added to your email autoresponder and you can use this, uh, this information for, for example, email automation. Great. So let's say you want to add the... Um, Consent checkbox. Again, this is quite straightforward. I'm just going to click this plus button here and add another email opt-in box. Okay, so it's right behind that. So what I'm going to do here just to make these different is I'm going to come to the background and change the background color. Okay, let's make that a bit dark. Right, okay, so I'm going to come back over here to our email account I'm going to come here and choose select a list. So this time I'm going to choose the one I created called GDPR. Now what this one has is, uh, in fact, let me show you so we don't get confused. Uh, I'm going to come back over here to lists and I'm going to choose this GDPR. Okay, select that. Sign up forms. I'm going to go to form builder. Okay, so what I've done here is all I've added is a checkbox with privacy policy and then agree with the terms. So that's all I added. So that's what we're going to use. So back over here, I'm going to select that list and then click on add. 
and I need to add my API key and my account name again. So I'm just going to call this GDPR and I am going to paste it on here and click submit. Okay. So now I have my list. Next, I'm going to come over here to fields and we don't need the last name. So, um, so I want to get rid of that. So we only have the first name and the email. And now I'm going to activate use custom fields, add a new custom field. And then I'm going to come over here and choose it. And there it is, privacy policy. Great. So as you can see, now it's added here. So what we can also do here, which is uh, really, really cool, is we can actually add some field options. So I'm going to come over here to field options. And notice now that we have this chain icon. Now what this means is we can actually add a URL. So let's say this URL is the URL that goes and um, goes to my privacy policy page. This will be great because before someone signs up, that's what they need to read before they sign up onto your mailing list. So for now, I'm just going to pretend this is my privacy policy link page. And if we take a look here, we have this little icon, which just shows us that if we click that, it will take us to, you know, whatever uh, the privacy policy page is. But we can also add the link test, which is great because this just makes it very clear for everyone that's coming to your website. So I'm going to say read the privacy policy. Okay, so now we can see it has been underlined and it's bold. So we can go ahead and save. So that means that uh, when someone comes here to our website, they want to add their information, they add their first name, email, and they have to consent by clicking here that they agree with the terms and conditions, and they can also read the privacy policy. So these are the features that I think are very, very important moving forward. And once you've added this information, all you have to do is to go ahead and save. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the new email opt-in is now GDPR ready. And the great news as well is all these records that are collected when someone uh, signs up for the consent is also recorded and you can retrieve this information easily by just going to your email autoresponder. Today's tutorial is made possible by divicake.com. Check out the huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link is in the description below. Okay, so that does it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell notification. By subscribing, you'll be notified every time I release new tutorials. Now, this channel is all about web design and online marketing. Until next time, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.